a kid, I always looked forward to school assemblies. I didn't have to be in class, and I didn't have to pay attention. We need to make a kindness explosion <laughs> happen within your school. But if I was in this assembly at Cottage Hill Elementary, I would have been excited. Do the head part. Everyone go, no fear. No. Just don't headbutt the person next to you. Don't go, no plow. <laughs> Brian Williams is the founder of Think Kindness. He's from Reno and travels the country telling kids kindness is contagious, then challenges them. Your school is challenged to do 5,000 acts of kindness, documented, handwritten, in just 15 days. Can you guys make that happen? Yeah! But as if not to curb their enthusiasm, Brian does not tell the kids why the challenge was created. With the bullying epidemic on the rise, we wanted to create a program that would go into schools um, and create this kindness explosion that's just infectious within the students and seeps out of their walls and into the community. And what you'll notice is you'll see a drop in bully-related incidences without even ever mentioning the word. Not only has it been noticed, it's been tracked. Schools his team has visited saw a 32% decrease in bullying. How many of you guys would have helped her? Now, Williams was not invited to Cottage Hill because of a bullying problem, but instead to instill good values early on and maybe tackle the issue outside of these walls. Yeah, I think this is her classroom. Fifth graders Freedom Brown and Anna Hamilton got to deliver the kindness journals to the classrooms. You want to try to get at least 10. Both say they already know what to do. The bullies actually appreciate what they're doing and stop being a bully. Being popular isn't everything. I don't want to be popular because of my looks or my, or my attitude or anything like that. I want to be popular for being nice. Another added benefit is that while the message does start here at the schools, the kids take that mentality of kindness home. And then sometimes it starts affecting mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, and others. With as much negativity that's going on all around the world, it's hard to look at it and be like, you know, how can I change the world when there's so much to change? When sometimes it's the simplest deeds um, that truly make the biggest difference. I'm at Cottage Hill, and they're competing to be the kindest school in the United States. Is that true? Yeah! Let's just show them how awesome Cottage Hill is. Ready? And yes, yes, yes. 